Book Bug. Stories that count. Floating and Sinking By Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Robert Galster. You can float on water. So can wood and paper, feathers and dandelion seeds. You can think of many other things that float. You can think of things that sink, too. Nails sink in water. So do stones, paper clips, dishes, pennies, forks, and spoons. Why do some things float, and other things sink? Some people say if a thing is light it floats, and if it is heavy, it sinks. But that can't be right. Big ships made of iron and steel are very heavy, yet they float. Let's see if we can find out why some things float, and other things sink. Suppose we start with two small bottles of the same size and shape, a pan of water, and enough sand to fill one of the bottles. You can use salt if you have no sand. Screw the caps on the bottles. Now you have two bottles full of air. Put the bottles in the pan of water. The bottles of air float. They sink into the water, and the water in the pan rises just a little bit. We say each bottle pushes aside a little bit of water. Suppose you weighed the water that the bottle of air pushes aside. The water would weigh the same as the bottle of air. That's why the bottle of air floats. Pour a little sand into one of the bottles. Now part of the bottle is filled with sand, and the rest is filled with air. Put the cap on the bottle. Then place it in the water again. This bottle sinks deeper in the water than the bottle of air, but it still floats. Add a little more sand. The bottle sinks a little deeper into the water. The more sand you add, the deeper the bottle sinks. After a while, the bottle sinks all the way to the bottom. Let's see what you did. The bottles you used were the same size and the same shape. You added sand to one bottle. When you added sand, you pushed air out of bottle. The bottle of sand weighed more than the bottle of air. The weight of the bottle of air was the same as the weight of the water is pushed aside. That's why it floated. The weight of the bottle of sand was more than the weight of the water it pushed aside. That's why it sank. The same thing happens with a big ship. A ship floats, but it sinks part way into the water. The ship sinks until the weight of the water it pushes aside is the same as the weight of the ship. When a ship carries a heavy load or cargo, it weighs more than when it is unloaded. The heavier cargo it carries, the deeper a ship sinks. It sinks until the weight of the water it pushes aside equals the weight of the ship and its load. If a ship with its cargo weighs more than the water it pushes aside, the ship will sink. You can see why ships must not be overloaded. Submarines are ships that can float or sink. When a submarine goes under the water, we don't say it sinks. We say in submerges. A submarine floats when the weight of the ships with the air inside it is the same as the weight of the water it pushes aside. When a submarine submerges, water rushes into tanks that were filled with air. The water pushes the air out of the tanks. The water is like a ship's cargo. The submarine plus the water in its tanks is now heavier than the water the submarine pushes aside. The submarine submerges. The submarine rises when air is pumped into the tanks. The air pushes the water out of the tanks. Once again the submarine floats, because it now weighs the same as the water it pushes aside. Air helps things to float. Here's a way to find out. Blow air into a balloon. Twist the neck of the balloon, and tie a string around it. Push the balloon underwater. Then let go. 
the balloon rises quickly. It may pop right out of the water. Then it floats on top. Your own lungs are like tanks of air. When you swim, the air in your lungs helps to keep you up. When your lungs are full of air, you float. When your lungs do not have much air in them, you sink deeper in the water. When you weigh more than the water you push aside, you sink. And other things do, also. You know why things sink. And you know why things float. You know that a bottle of air floats. You know that a bottle of sand sinks. Would a bottle of water float? You can find out for yourself. Do baseballs float or sink? Golf balls. Paper clips. Glass beads. Sometimes it's hard to know. You may guess right, or you may guess wrong. But you can find out. Stories that count. Subscribe now for more.